Good evening, Mr. Zainab, good evening. How are you? I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. How about you? I'm pretty good too. Thank you for asking. Jamila, how are you? Ah, oh, Jamila cannot uh, hear me yet. Okay, so I think Dana is coming. We have to wait for your friends just to come. Hiba is coming. Okay, let me accept Hiba. And we have to start because at 8, I have another class. Okay, so this is level 2. And we have Dana. Zainab. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Jamila cannot hear me. I don't know why she couldn't activate the mic. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Hiba? I'm fine. What about you? I am good. Thank you, God. I think I have to share the screen and we have to start. Okay. If you remember, guys, we have started talking about the um, uh, the sandwich and the history of sandwich. So we have to complete reading. After that, absolutely, we have to uh, solve the following questions. Reading, guys, is really important skill. You have to practice reading. Keep in mind that the more you read, the better you will be. So not only in this class, guys, you have to read, but you have to read at home. Try to read too much short stories uh, just to be able to read fast. And not only reading, but you have to get the main idea of every text. Uh, and this way you will be a good reader. Okay, so let me go down to the history of sandwich and we have to complete reading. Let me ask Dana. Dana, did you read the last class? Yes, teacher. Uh huh. So let me. No, no. Uh, I didn't. Uh... You didn't. Okay. Zainab, I think the last class you've been absent, so you didn't read. Jamila cannot hear me. Let me check if Jamila can hear me or not yet. Yes, Jamila, uh, how are you? Yes, teacher. I'm fine. How are you too? I am fine. Thank you, God. Did you read the last class, yes. uh, Jamila? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. uh, the last Sorry. class I read. I read. I, I read it. I read, I read it. it. Mm, because the past of read is read. Okay, uh, Jamila? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I read? Uh -huh. Okay. okay. They are, they are the same. Uh, they are the same in the past and in the uh, present. 
but the only difference is the pronunciation. So they are different uh, in the pronunciation. And same uh, writing? The same writing. So this is read. If you want to say, I read a story, so you have okay. to say read. But it is written the same in the past, but you cannot say read, you have to say read. I read a story. Okay, thanks. I don't think that Raid uh, read the uh, text before. Raid, good evening. Good evening. Did you read the last class or not yet? Uh, no. Okay. Not yet. So I think only um, Jamila uh, has read. So I think I have to ask all of you just to read I... the passage. Okay. I read... Let me make zoom in. Uh, did you say something, guys? Dana? Yes. Was it you? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, I needed to read, please. Okay. Okay. The history of the sandwich. First century before century. A famous rabbi, Hillel the Elder, made the first recorded sandwich. He mixed some nuts, apples, and spices with some wine and put it between two matzos, pieces of, of flat bread. Amazing. Okay, the next paragraph. Take 16th century, people used the bread as plates. They put meat and vegetables onto some bread and ate uh, with their fingers. These were the first open sandwiches, and they called them tranchers. Okay, thank you so much. But wait, uh, Dana, can what? we read this word again? Used. 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 Amazing. The E sound is not the pronounced. And okay. I need you to read this word. This. These. This. Please. This. Uh -huh. This, this is this. But okay, if you okay. want to say this word, please, the E should be long pronounced. So okay. these. This. Mm, amazing. Okay. Uh, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not the end. I need you to complete reading okay. the 18th century. 18th century. The name sandwich first appeared in Englishman John Montag, 1718-1792, the fourth year of sandwich, liked to eat and gamble uh, at London's Beefsteak Club. Sometimes he stayed 24 hours at the gaming table. He was hungry, but he didn't want to stop gambling. Mm -hmm. So the chefs from the club put some beef between two pieces of bread and he ate while he uh, gambled. This new meal became very fashionable with other men in the club and they called it, uh, it, it, the, it, it the sandwich after the ear. Mm, amazing. Can you read this word again, uh, Dana? Appeared. 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 Okay, appeared. Appeared. Guys, appear, yabhar. First ap appeared, dharat lil marra al So this is appear. I cannot deny that you are a good reader. Um, uh, Dana, thank you so much. So I think I have to ask someone else. Okay. Uh, Zainab, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, please, I need you to read the last two paragraphs. Okay, 19th century, an American writer, Eliza Leslie, introduced sandwiches to America. In 1837, she wrote a cookbook, Directions for Cookery. In it, she had a recipe for ham sandwiches. Cut some thin slices of bread and ham. Butter the bread and put, it, put the ham between two slices with some mustard. Eat for lunch or supper. Americans loved them. 20th to 21st century. Sandwiches became very popular indeed. They were easy to make. And they were a wonderful, cheap, portable meal for workers and school children. Holy shoot, that's amazing. Thank you, a good reader. You had no mistake. Thank you, Zainab. Thank you.
Okay, now I have to ask Hiba if she can hear me. Yes. Oh, please, can you read the first two paragraphs? The history of the sandwich. First country, PC. A famous rapi, Haley the Elder, made the first recorded sandwich. He mixed some nuts, apples, and spice, uh, spicy with some wine and put it between two mats. Matzos. Matzos. Uh huh. Pieces of flat bread. Exactly. Six. Wait. So the meaning of matzos is this. Pieces of flat bread. Okay. Can you read this word, please, um, Hiba? Chantry. Again? Chantry. Yes, thank you. Now I have to go down to the third paragraph. So please complete reading. Uh, the second and the third. Six, six, sixteenth century. People used bread as plates. They put meat and vegetables onto some bread and at ate with their fingers. These were the first open sandwiches and they called called them trench, mm -hmm. trenches. 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 Yes. Okay. The third paragraph, please. 19th century. The man sandwich first appeared and mm -hmm. name the name, name yes. the name <laughs> the name sandwich first appeared and Englishman John Mont Montague 1718-1792 the first earl of sandwich liked the liked to eat and gum Gumble mm -hmm. at London's Beef Stick Club. Sometimes he stayed 24 hours at the gaming, gaming table. He was hungry, but he didn't want to stop gambling. Mm -hmm. So the chips from the club put some beef between two pieces of bread and he ate while he gambled this new new meal became very fashionable with other men in the club and uh, they called it the sandwich after he earl okay after the earl okay now I need you to read this word again. As. It's as. 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 So the S pronounced as. Okay. Okay, as. Again. As. Exactly as. Because as, guys, means something else. Okay. Can you read this word? Chef. It's chef. Guys, it's chef. This is chef. A chef means. Qa'ad or Rubban Sapina, chef. But this is chef. Mm. Can you read this word, uh, Hiba? New mail. Uh -huh. Mail is this. This is mail, which is al barid mail. Or mail, this is it. So if you want to say mail, you mean something else. So this is what meal. Meal. Yes, it is. Thank you so okay. much, Amhiba. You have uh, a, a good reading skill. Right, can Thank you hear you. me? Yes, I can. Have you read before or not yet? Did you read before or not yet? Uh, no. No, okay. I need you to read the last two paragraphs, please. Nineteenth century, an American writer Eliza Leslie uh, introduced uh, sandwiches 
uh, to America in 1837. Uh, she, she wrote uh, a cookbook, uh, Directions um, for Cookery. Uh, in it, she had a recipe for ham sandwich, cut some thin uh, slices of bread uh, and ham, uh, butter she uh, the braid and uh, put uh, the the ham between two slices with uh, with some mustard. Uh, eat for lunch for, uh, or supper. Uh, Americans loved them. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you please uh, complete right? Twentieth, uh, twenty-first uh, uh, century uh, sandwich became very popular indeed uh, they they were easy to make and they were a wonderful cheap a cheap portable uh, portable uh, meal for workers uh, and uh, school children children mm, amazing okay can we this word right again introduced introduced amazing what about this word uh, she wrote. Wrote exactly. This word is sand sandwiches. 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 Yes. So sandwich only one sandwich, but sandwiches more than one sandwich. Can we this word? Uh, this one. Supper. Supper exactly. It's not super because this is super. But this is supper. Okay. Can we this word? طبعاً supper معنا العشاء. Can we this word? <laughs> Are you out, uh, Raid? No, no, I'm here. Uh, yeah, please. I need to finally to read this word. Uh, portable. P portable. Okay, okay. portable. Portable, portable محمول أو قابل إنه نحن نحمله. Thank you so much. Uh, Nahil, can you hear me? Yes. I want to ask you if you uh, read before or not yet. No, أنا هلا فتت. So did you read the uh, text about sandwiches or not yet? من جرب يلا. You did it. So you didn't read before. Am I right? No. Okay, no. so I needed to read these three paragraphs, please. Okay. A famous rabbi, Hillel the Elder, made the first recorder sandwich. He mixed some nuts, apples, and the spices with some wine and, uh, and put it between two matzoh pieces of flat bread. Mm-hmm. People use the bread as plates. Uh, they please, put some... read. I need you to read the titles. Mm. Uh, How can I read this date? Six, uh -huh. 16th century. Amazing. Okay, yeah. So, okay, complete. People use the bread as plates. They put meat and vegetables onto some bread and uh, uh, eat with their fingers. This were the first open sandwiches and they called them trenchers. Eight and eight. Eight, which is the past of it. Yes. And this word is? Uh, trencher, trenchers. Trenchers. Okay. Yes, okay. Now, please, the final paragraph. Uh, 80th century. Yeah. What? The 80th is this. Yes. 18th. Uh, yes. 18th. The name sandwich first appeared an Englishman, John Montag, uh, 17, um, 1718, 1792. The fourth Earl 
of sandwich. Like to eat and uh, jam. Um, this is gamble. Gamble, gamble is yuqamar uh, uh, yuqamar. يعني لعب لأمار. Gamble. Ah, okay, gamble. Gamble at London's Beef Steak Club. Sometimes he stayed 24 hours at the gaming, uh, gaming table. He was hungry, but he didn't want to stop gambling. So uh, the chef from the club, club put some beef between two pieces of bread. Uh, and he and he ate while he gambled. Uh, this new male became very fash fashionable with other men in the club, and they called it the sandwich after the ear. Mm, amazing. Thank you. Um, Nahil, you are a good waiter. But can we this word again? Gamble. Yeah, this word is... Gaming. What is it? Gaming? Don't you play video games, uh, Nahil? Gaming. Gaming. Okay. <laughs> because it is vowel sound. If you want to add ing, you have to delete the e. All the time, guys, any word, any verb, any noun ends with e. If you want to add ing, the e should be deleted. Okay. Uh, this word is. Mel. Meal. Mel. Mel. Meal. Tani wajba. Okay. Umel akid al barid aw dakar. This word okay. is. Um, fashionable. Okay, fashionable. This... Okay. We have fashion. This is fashion. And if you want to Able. add the A B L E, it will be fashionable. Uh, fashionable. Yes, it is. Thank you so much. Again, Nahid. Tagreed, did you eat or not yet? No. Holy God, the last class, three students uh, read and only. Okay, by the way, can you read the final two uh, paragraphs? Yes, sure. 19th century, an American uh -huh. writer, Eliza Leslie, int introduced sandwiches to America. In 1837, she wrote a cookbook, Direction for Cookery. In it, she had a recipe for ham sandwiches, cut uh, some thin slices of bread and ham, butter the bread and put the ham between two slices with some mustard, eat for lunch or supper. Americans loved, loved them. 20th, uh, 21st century. Sandwiches became very popular indeed. They were easy to make and they were a wonderful, cheap, portable meal for workers and uh, school children. That's amazing, um, Tagreed. Yeah, you are a good reader. I cannot deny that uh, Hiba uh, and Tagreed are really good readers. Okay, thank you guys. This is the text. Now I think it is the time to solve uh, the uh, questions. Okay. Now, the first question is about finding some names. If you notice, guys, when we read the text, uh, we had some names. Now, these are the names that we have in the text. Now, read the text and find these names. Can you find this name? No. Hillel the Elder. Where is yes. this? Yes, we I found the Sarabai. I found the Sarabai. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Thank you. So this is it. He is a famous rabbi. وبرجع بقول guys rabbi تعني حاخام أي مدرس بعلم الديانة اليهودية بسموه rabbi. Now John Montague. Where yes, is this? English man. English man. Oh, this is it. He is an English man exactly. And... ما فينا نقول إنه هو the first. The fourth Earl of Sandwich? Yes, the fourth Earl of Sandwich. Here. Okay. Now the third Teacher one is... Of uh, Earl, هلا بيجي Earl معناها لؤلؤة. بس هون, guys, Earl تعني oh. طبقة نبيلة. بال, uh, guys, okay. بالعصور الوسطى تقريبا. أي حدا من طبقة النبلاء كان يقولوا عنه Earl. أما المعنى الثاني للإيرل هي لؤلؤة. Okay, now the third name we have, Eliza Leslie. 
An American an, writer. An American writer. This is it. Thank you. An American writer, which is the fourth paragraph. Four. Dagwood Bumstead. Where is Dagwood Bumstead? Mm, this is it. Exactly. This is it. So this American is... American cartoon uh -huh. character. Exactly. So in this cartoon movie, guys, uh, this uh, person, which is Dagwood, created the sandwich. And most of people, after watching this cartoon movie, uh, were imitating, imitate you uh, this uh, cartoon character by making the same sandwich. Thank you so much. So this is it. Now we have the next question, uh, which is, who are these people? Okay, now who is, I think we answered, uh, approximately we answered uh, this question while talking about these uh, characters. Okay, now we have to read the text again, and we have to uh, uh, complete the information. We have Hillel the elder made his sandwich with nuts, apples, spices, and what? Some wine. With some wine. Uh -huh. some wine. This is it. With some wine. Exactly. So this is the missing two words. Okay. Two. Trenchers were the first what? Open sandwiches. Uh -huh. Thank you. Were the first open sandwiches. This is two. Three, the Earl of Sandwich sometimes like to what? To eat, eat and gamble. And gamble. Exactly. This is it. So, like to eat and gamble. Overjabul, guys. Gamble means you calmer. Okay, this is it. Exactly. Okay. So, the next one is. Wait, let me go down. The beef steak club chefs put what? Two Some slices. Some beef, beef. Some beef. Uh, two pieces of bread. Where, where? Some beef between hmm. two slices of bread. Which paragraph? Um, line three, paragraph three. Paragraph three, uh, line one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, paragraph three, line one, two, three, one, two, three. Aha, uh -huh, this is it. So the chefs from the club put some beef, exactly, between two. Uh -huh, exactly, okay. Now next we have Elisa Leslie's recipe for was very popular in America. Where is Leslie? Ham sandwiches. What is it again? Ham sandwiches. Ham sandwiches. Line, Line four. four. Paragraph four. So this is it. Four line. line three. Line three. One, two, three. Is it here? Um. Is this Aha. Uh -huh, the next paragraph. La la. A line four. Line Some thin four. slices of bread. Uh -huh, and ham. This is it. Line four. Some thin slices of bread and ham. Mm, amazing. Okay. It was popular. In America, six sandwiches became popular worldwide because what? Because they were easy, wonderful, cheap. Hey. Exactly, portable. this is it. Portable, thank you. Cheap, wonderful, easy, thank you. Next, we have Doug Wood Bumstead is it's an American cartoon character. This is it, thank you. So he is an American cartoon character. This is it. Dagwood Bumstead. Okay, now I think finally. Finally, we no. have. Hmm. Am I right? Okay, finally, we have. The Dagwood sandwich is made with what? Of meat, cheese, okay. vegetables. Many layers. Of meat, exactly. cheese, cheese, tomato, so, egg. A great many layers. Layers, tiny tabaka. Mm -hmm, exactly. So, this is it about the history of sandwiches. Now, I think, guys, we have uh, to go to the next page.
to listen and to fill the blanks. Okay, so here we have a recording, but before listening to the recording, we have to know the meaning of these words. We have bacon. Do you know the meaning of bacon? In bakery? No, it is something different. Okay, no. Bacon is laham al khanzir al muqaddad. Okay? Okay. Beef. What is the meaning of beef? I know I'm in a lahum. Exactly. Cheese, you know the cheese. The chips, you know it. Fish fingers. It's just a small fish made as fingers. Ham, onions, sugar, tomatoes, peanut butter. Do you know the meaning of peanut butter? Exactly. Mustard. Who knows it? Exactly. Mackerel. A type of fish? Yeah, exactly. You know this type? I think I have to Google it just to show you the meaning of mackerel. Yeah, it, he, it is a, a kind of fish, exactly. Now, let me uh, Google this kind of fish. Exactly, this is it. Okay. Let me show you some pictures about this kind of fish. This is images, this is it. Again, it is a kind of a small fish. Uh, sometimes uh, it is a uh, 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 bigger uh, fish, but this is the mackerel. Okay. Okay. Olives. What is the meaning of olives? Zaytun. Zaytun. Basil. Yimkin abadunis. I think metal. Parsley. Yeah, it is exactly habak. أو ريحان في بعض المحل الأماكن بسموا ريحان وبعض البلدان بسموا الحبق. أنا بسوي. شو يعني هام؟ هام هو لحم المقدد. بس مش لحم خنزير أكيد. وأحيانا أحيانا بكون لحم خنزير الهام. أوكي. أوكي. So guys. Now we have some people. These people are talking about their favorite sandwiches. Everyone has uh, his or her own ingredients. Absolutely. The ingredients are here written in this box. Now let's listen to these people and let's listen to their favorite sandwich, kind of sandwich. Number one is sold for us. We have Angus from the north. His favorite sandwich is... When it has ham, ham plus and mustard. mustard, exactly. So let's complete listening. It is recording 8.9. So this is unit 8, amazing. We are in unit 8. And no, this is 9, not 8, please. Then let me close it. This is 8. And recording nine. I don't have money to buy you. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, four. This is it. Tape script 8.8. .8. What? My no, I need nine. This is it. Tape script 8.9. Amazing. So let's listen carefully. So number one. What's your favorite sandwich? Angus. I come from the north of England and we often call sandwiches butties. My favorite butty is made with thick slices of white bread and thick slices of warm ham with hot mustard. Yes, Warm ham. Mmm, delicious. Would you like to try one? So, these are the ingredients of uh, the favorite sandwich of Angus. Now, Yola. Ulla. I'm from Denmark, so for me, it's the open sandwich, of course. And my favorite is with beef. Thin slices of beef, 
rare beef with some crispy fried onions on the top. I love this. What? Beef and crispy onions. Exactly. So beef and onions. So these are the ingredients of the sandwich of Yula. Now, Tom. Tom. Oh, the best sandwich in the world is definitely a bacon sandwich. Hot bacon between thin slices of white bread and with lots of tomato ketchup. Simple and very, very tasty. There's a cafe near where I work in London. I sometimes buy one for breakfast. Mmm, I'd like one right now. So, what are the two? Bacon and tomatoes. Bacon. Amazing. Bacon and tomatoes. Exactly. So, this is it. Now, let's listen to the next person. Marianne. Marianne. I live in Italy, so my best is Italian. A ciabatta with chopped tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, with black olives and basil. Mozzarella's my favourite cheese, and I like cooking with it. I make my own pizza. So, I think they are four in the Tomatoes, tomatoes, cheese, olives, basil, peanut basil, butter. Amazing. What else? And olives. Black olives. olives. So this is it, thank you. Now, what about the next one? John. John. I was in Turkey by the sea, and a fisherman called to me, Come, try a balik ekmek. I think this means fish in bread. He gave me a sandwich. It was fresh mackerel grilled and in a bread roll with raw onions. Fabulous. So... Fish, mackerel, onion, onion. Exactly. So, onions with mackerel. This is it. Thank you so much. That is amazing. Okay. Uh, Diana, can you hear me? Yes, I can. What is your favorite sandwich, um, Diana? My favorite sandwich um, is beef with mm -hmm. uh, cheese and onion. Amazing. Yeah, it seems delicious. Okay, thank you. Uh, Zainab, what is your favorite sandwich? Uh, I prefer chicken sandwiches more than beef. Uh, maybe my special sandwich is uh, shawarma. Mm, I loved it. Yeah, okay, thank you so much. Uh, Jamila, what is your favorite sandwich? My favorite sandwich is burger. And uh, shawarma, a donor, Yana. Okay. What 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 are the favorite ingredients that you like in a burger? Everything. <laughs> Everything. Amazing. Okay. Okay. Uh, Hiba, yeah, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Uh, me too. Yeah. Uh, holy God, me too. I loved it. <laughs> Uh, I like to eat it every time. Uh, why? Well, what's, uh, please uh, tell me if uh, we have some ingredients, special ingredients that you like it, uh, Zainab and Shawarma. Uh, I like it because it contains a lot of pickles. A lot of pickles? Mm -hmm. How strange. Uh, it's something mm -hmm. rare just to find someone uh, likes pickles. Okay, by the way, thank you so much, Zainab. Chianis pickles. Pickles. Pickle. Chianis pickle. Tani mo mkhalal. Oh, okay. Uh, so, pickles mkhalal. Mshahaytuna, ya Allah. Please, I know, we're hungry. Okay. Now, I want to ask Hiba about uh, 